think we'll survive because there is no other option. Um, there's no doubt that it's a huge time for supernatural media. I know I'm a big fan. What drew you to to adapt the Vampire Academy books specifically? <laughs> So <laughs> we've known each other for a very long time. I think uh, at least about 20 years, uh, almost, almost 20 years. Almost. Um, and early on in our friendship, we used to vacation occasionally together. And I was always reading the latest YA novel. And uh, one of these vacations there, I was reading Vampire Academy. And this was before Vampire Diaries. It was back in the in the mid 2000s. It was right when it came out. Right yeah. when it was published. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and I told her, I said, this is actually, you know, you should this is a pretty good book. And then I realized there were six of them. So it, it stretched an entire vacation and then some. Yeah. And so we, uh, we've we been fans of this material for quite a long time. And back in the day, I thought I'd only read one book. So when it came back around and Julie was like, well, let's talk about doing a series. I was like, yeah, I think I remember that book. And then when I, I realized I had not read one book, I had read all six books too. Like I just plowed through them as much and I was a big fan of them. I didn't realize what a big fan I was of them, but I read them all too. Yeah, when you look back and you realize he blew through six books, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You mean it. Yeah. And there's a spinoff. I know there's all yeah. the other. <laughs> she is a very prolific, talented writer, Rochelle. She's incredible. Yeah, she is. Absolutely. And so it's really interesting that this came up for you even before Vampire Diaries, because I know we know your work from Vampire Diaries Originals Legacies. Like you are the vampire queen, so to speak, in our in our new media. <laughs> um, and I know we are going to be bringing over a lot of those Vampire Diaries fans into this series. So, so can you tell yeah. me one thing that's sort of similar about these two franchises and one thing that's unique to the Vampire Academy series? Oh, wow. You know, one of the best things about Vampire Academy is that it really does live and breathe and exist in a completely different world than Vampire Diaries. I think that there's some crossovers um, perhaps a little of the compulsion, mm -hmm. you know, the s sensitivity, the sunlight, the sort of the basic mythos of the vampire, uh, even although even we break the rules on that as well. But it, I wouldn't have jumped in to do another vampire show if I didn't feel like I could have a hand in making it feel utterly unique and like a world that nobody else had ever seen. And that ultimately, Marguerite, of course, has been with the vampire family since the beginning <laughs> as well, since... Yeah episode three or four episode four season one sheriff forbes yeah um so uh she was able to kind of understand where we had come from as well and and help um the whole team make really clear choices on how to build this world out in a way that would feel new and fresh yeah and i think it's one of the things that i love about what you, what you've done is and i've said this before is like it's it's not easy to to recreate the same you know keep seeing another face of the prism of of vampire mm -hmm. stories and every single one of those which i was lucky enough to work on all of them were different like the tone of vampire diaries is different than the tone of originals different than the tone of legacies and this is different again and in this one we have this kind of ancient and modern sensibility living side by side within it there's going to be scenes where you're like you almost feel like am i in the 15th century here and scenes where it's like oh that hair cut is like a k-pop haircut like what's <laughs> so, happening here so expressively modern it and, is you know you see the castle behind us this is where we shot a lot of the series in spain we were in europe um shooting in real castles uh, and, and on real, you know, sweeping hillsides. And there's a beautiful, beautiful, almost fairy tale esque scope to the show that really does separate it from the others nicely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so final question, if you're going to pop yourself into a role, uh, are you going Maroy, Strigoi or Dampier? <gasps> oh, I want to be a Dampier because I want to be like a fierce fighter like they are. They're so physical and brilliant. I which. I, I don't, I don't do that, but I would love to do that if I could. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my first instinct was like, it'd be so nice to get dressed up and go to lots of bubbly fun parties. But ultimately, you know, the privilege attached to that is it's too much of a weight to carry. So <laughs> I'm, I'm in the trenches fighting with the Tom here, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I think it's the most fun. Just seems, yeah. Uh, yeah. seems the most exciting. All right. That is my time for today. Thank you both so much for talking Thank with you. me. I'm excited Thank for everyone so to see much. Vampire Academy. Oh.